I don't want to tell a story or tell people what to think. I just want to create visually compelling images and leave the story and the thinking up to them. When we listen to instrumental music, we don't need interpretation. We just let it pour over us and let it move us one way or another. Painting to me is simply music for the eyes. David Tycho was born and raised in Vancouver, Canada. He studied painting at the University of British Columbia under renowned Canadian artist Gordon Smith, an influence that stays with him even today. Gordon had a profound effect on me and my work. He made me believe that art was important and technique was important and that experimenting and taking risks was important and just simply putting in the hours. His passion and commitment were contagious. A four-year stint in Asia deepened David's understanding of art and the many influences began to congeal. Ironically, it was in Japan where I began to get excited about abstraction, watching Buddhist monks doing this calligraphy with mop-sized brushes on paper rolled out on the floor. And it was through that experience that I began to understand artists like Jackson Pollock and Willem de Kooning. I'd been skeptical about abstract painting until then, but then it all clicked. David began exploring abstraction. His sources of inspiration are varied. He draws from his surroundings, from other artists, from gut instinct, and from the very paint itself. I love the way paint smears and spatters, runs, drips, and bleeds. Uh, that's the nature of paint, and I think removing or tidying up these gratuitous gifts only detracts from the work. It's these imperfections that give the piece its character, its soul. David has chosen his most recent works, depicting the dynamism of cities, to be featured in the Paint the City project. Paint the City's digital art network takes art from museum walls outside and onto giant digital billboards to create Canada's largest outdoor public gallery, which will intrigue and inspire 1.2 million viewers every day. Tokyo is mind-blowing. It's frightfully congested, but magically exhilarating at the same time. I started basically just painting the photographs I'd taken, but it, it just wasn't working at all. You can't cram a city as dynamic as Tokyo onto a three-foot by four-foot canvas. I began to simplify the images and intensify the colors and movement. I realized they had to be painted quickly with a lot of physical energy behind the strokes. I even threw paint at the canvas at times. When I approached it like this, they started to work. They started to say, Tokyo. Then I began to abstract even further and tried to develop works that were urban in spirit, but not specific to any particular city. This spawned Tycho's Urban Rhythm series and these paintings caught the eye of Jordan Manfredi. As the marketing director of Paint the City, she contacted David, and the two began working on Paint the City's digital art network project in Canada. I think artists working in traditional media like painting and sculpture have to learn to embrace digital technology or become anachronisms. And from an artist's point of view, what could be better than providing commuters with images to ponder on their otherwise tedious trips to and from work? Paint the City is an amazing vehicle for this. Paint the City hopes to ignite a new era of art enthusiasts, now able to experience and contemplate contemporary art in their daily lives. <laughs>